Welcome back to Home Theater Guru. So if your bedroom is boring and noisy and kind of hard to sleep in, we're going to fix that in this video. We're going to take this wall and turn it into this wall with a very simple product by AccuSlat. AccuSlat makes beautiful wood panels that are actually acoustic, so they do help absorb some of the sound in the room. They've got a lot of different panels to choose from. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is laying out my studs using a Franklin stud sensor. If you haven't used it, this is the best stud sensor I've ever used. It is awesome for finding studs. Then I've got a laser level that I use from Bosch that I love. So I'm just going to be tacking these onto the wall with brad nails i'm using the roby brad nailer 18 volt i've done two houses with this brad nailer like trim them out and it is an awesome little brad nailer so i'm taking the headboard off the wall I actually built this bedroom set so i'm just going to move it out of the way so i can continue the wall slats and you notice at the top i actually have a little gauge i'm using just to kind of keep it a little bit off of the top of the ceiling so when i come back and seal it i don't have to worry about getting sealer on the ceiling and here we cut out for the outlet now we're fixing to do above the headboard so i need some smaller sections so i'm not i don't want to just waste it behind the headboard so i'm ripping these or cutting these down a little bit now i have a high tooth uh, count on my blade i'm going really slow because i do not want to chip the wood and i put some tape on there just to help now here i am just kind of rounding those edges off not really rounding them off just cleaning them up because they're going to be sitting against the ceiling so they would if you had any kind of burr or anything like that you might see it All right, it moves along pretty quick. This whole room took about about two hours to do. Now to install this, you can glue it to the wall or you can screw it to the wall. Now I'm opting to use brand nails just because it's so much faster and it's also easy to remove if later down the road I want to swap it out for something else. Now for the brad nails, the ones I'm using are about an inch and nine sixteenth long, just over an inch and a half. So we want to make sure we don't have a brad nail that's too long because we just want to be able to get into the studs where we're hitting the studs. And some places we're just going to be getting the sheetrock. All right, so now I'm going to get some measurements because I need to rip this last piece for the corner here. So we're going to bring it out to the table saw and get that done. Fits like a glove. And now I'm going to put the headboard back. It actually mounts to the wall just so it's nice and sturdy. That's done. Now we're going to go ahead and measure these little filler pieces on the sides. And here I'm using a miter sled that I built for my table saw. This thing makes it super easy to get repetitive cuts. Alright, I'm going to do both sides of the bed. We're going to do the right side here and then we're going to switch over and go ahead and finish up the left side as well. All right, and here we are. This room looks fantastic. So much better than it did before. Now it looks like something off a magazine. Now, because this is a real wood product, you can hit it with something like a tongue oil. I'm going to hit it with two coats. Now you can see right here on the right, it makes it look like furniture. It just looks so much better once you oil it. Now we have an amazing looking feature wall that makes this room so much nicer to sleep in and just so much nicer to look at. All right, guys, so we are going to be using the same product in the home theater in a certain area. It's a different color, of course. So if you want to see that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and like this video. See you for the next one.